Welcome to On Our Shelf. Let's see what Bartholomew has for us today. Bartholomew, what you got for us? All right, we have the Parrot Mini Drones Jumping Sumo. Let's check this out. All right, guys, we have another drone, but this time it's from the Parrot Company. Yes, the same Parrot Company that makes these. But unlike those, this one does not fly, it jumps. And it's also from their mini drone series. So here's the box that it comes in. Let me get my knife and let's get this thing out of the box. So one of the first things that you see is the graphics for the jumping sumo you can pick from one of these three. It's just a pretty simple sticker. Next we have the jumping sumo itself. It feels pretty lightweight, weighing in at 180 grams instructions manual you should read it micro usb charging cable lithium polymer rechargeable battery and a couple of extra rubber boots is what i'm going to call them now as far as the description of the drone goes you have a micro usb port used for charging also to record video i'll explain that part a little bit more later on we have a wide angle lens camera that shoots at 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second so it's not hd two flashing LED indicator lights, power on and off button. You have these adjustable wheels that adjust in and out. I'm pretty sure that's to make tighter turns. Um, I hate doing this though, because it feels like I'm gonna break them because they're so flexible, but that's of course to absorb the impact from jumping. Now, the first thing you need to do to get started is charge the battery, of course. While charging, this light will be red. When finished, it'll turn green. Then download the Free Flight 3 app in the Apple App Store or the Android Google Play Store. It's a pretty cool app that has lots of features and it's the only way to control the drone through Wi-Fi. Inside the app, under the settings, you can adjust the sensitivity controls in a variety of different ways. You can do a road plan which allows you to put in a bunch of different pre-programmed commands and hit play and the drone will do them automatically. So for example, if you want the drone to uh, go straight for two meters then do a turnaround and then do a jump. It can do all of those with the touch of one button. This is your main control screen. This is used to make the drone go back and forth. This section is used to turn the drone at different degrees. These two icons are used to make the drone jump two different ways. I'm not gonna demonstrate it now because the dog is literally about to go nuts. This icon here flips the drone over on its top or back side, depending on how you wanna look at it. These two icons up here are pretty self-explanatory. One is to take pictures and one is to record video. These are your six different animations. You have spin, tap, slow shake, metronome, undulation, and spin jump. The dog is clearly not making this easy for me, but here's the drone in action. Now as far as recording videos and taking pictures goes, this is one of the dumbest things about this drone. It requires a micro USB flash drive that goes in this spot right here. And even if you have one, it's probably still not going to fit. So you're still gonna have to get a micro USB flash drive adapter, which is crazy. See, micro USB flash drive doesn't fit. I don't think most people happen to have one of these laying around. I just happen to have one. 
So when it's all hooked up and ready to go, this is what it's going to look like. Yes, it's going to dangle from the drone just like this. This could have all been fixed by just simply making it take a micro SD card, but someone came up with this idea. So here are some actual pictures and videos taken from the camera. I'm sure there's something you can use to strap this thing down. I just didn't have anything laying around at the time. So overall, I'm not quite sure what to think about this thing. I mean, it can be fun. The dog definitely enjoyed it. I'm a huge fan of innovation, so I definitely like it for that reason. Uh, one thing that I should notice that the jumping mechanism, the thing that retracts and then pops out to make this thing bounce around, it broke after only one week of using it. So don't know really what to tell you about that, but that actually happened. The battery life is okay at best. You're gonna get about 18 minutes of play time and it takes about 90 minutes to charge the battery. So you might wanna have a couple extra batteries laying around. As far as speed goes, it can travel up to seven kilometers and it has a Wi-Fi range of 50 meters. So overall, I don't not like this particular drone, but I also don't like it as well. So I'm kinda of in between. I still can't get over the fact that where they put that micro USB flash drive input at, that's still weird to me. That combined with the fact that one of its features broke on me and I had to keep charging the battery every 18 minutes. That was kind of annoying, but a couple extra batteries will fix that problem. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this particular drone. Is this something that you would go out and get? And if so, what exactly would you use it for? And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Take care, I'll see you guys in our next video. And thanks for watching.